Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. If you are new here, hi my name is Dana. I am a mama to three with baby number four on the way and in today's video I'm going to be reorganizing again our homeschool bookshelf and just our books in general. And if you are new here, I am actually a second generation homeschooler. My mom still has one kiddo left that she is homeschooling, my little brother. I am one of seven and we all were homeschooled K through 12 and we've all grown obviously and and have gotten married um, and it's been a really fun adventure seeing kind of where all my siblings are at and where they're going in their lives um, but anyway she only has one little guy left that she is homeschooling now he is in high school now which is crazy it makes me feel old when your baby brother is in high school and it's crazy but anyway Everything that I have today that I'm going to be showing you was all gifted from her. She was cleaning out her schoolroom, getting it ready here for the next coming school year and everything, and handed down quite a few books. Um, so mom, if you are watching, thank you so much. Such a huge, huge blessing. A lot of them are series and readers and just gems that I am really, really excited to be diving into with my kiddos. And it is such, such a blessing. And one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video as well was to also remind kind of myself, but also remind other mamas the importance of building up that home library. Um, just because seeing my mom build it up and then being able to bless us kiddos with that has been amazing. So in today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, I am gonna be reorganizing, as I said before, kind of moving some of our books around. I have all these boxes down here. I have my little helper. Can you say hi, Ellie? <laughs> who's already diving into a lot of the books, um, but she's going to be helping me <laughs> a lot getting all the books out. Um, if you saw, I actually did another video probably a few months ago now about kind of reorganizing our homeschool area. And a lot of my curriculum is actually on these shelves back here. So I'm probably going to move those again, <laughs> put them back onto an actual curriculum shelf in another room, and then use this just for like the storybooks and everything that I'm going to be showing you today. But yeah, that's going to be our project and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna wait and decide. Um, this is our main curriculum shelf, like stuff we actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. You saw me organize this a while back. Um, so I'm gonna see kind of what fits on both the shelf and the one up here, and then go from there Decide to decide if we wanna put all the curriculum out in one room or the day-to-day -day stuff out here. We're not sure yet, so. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start loading up the shelf. You wanna help load up the shelf? Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. The boxes first. Yeah. Okay, let's see what have on the top one. We have the Heroes of History. If you are not familiar with these books, I highly, highly recommend. Um, they're amazing, amazing, amazing books. So I'm excited to dive into some of these when we do our read alouds this summer. You want to help me bring these over to the shelf? Okay. What do we put on? Let's put them right here. Thank you. boxes unloaded and everything put on the shelves. I actually ended up being able to keep everything on my actual core curriculum shelf, which was great because everything on this shelf are things that we use pretty much every single day. And so I was so thankful that we were able to keep this shelf, but still have room for all of these new books and then all of the books up there. 
which we'll get to now. <laughs> So the series that my little ones are definitely most excited about are the Nature's Children. These are just full of information about all kinds of different animals, bugs, reptiles, you name it. Um, but each book has two different parts. So this one is like the prairie dogs and the bighorn sheep. But they are just so, so much fun. So much information. They've already had these out on the couch looking at all of those and having fun with those. And then this was actually one of my favorite books when I was little. Um, what would Jesus do? There's just really short, simple stories, um, character building stories, and just a really, really fun book. And then these two, this one is a daring book for girls. I have the uh, dangerous book for boys, so I have those two. The two books that I am probably most excited about is a child's book of character building, books one and two. This was something that growing up, uh, my dad would read one of these either at night for devotions or in the morning for devotions. But they are just sweet, sweet stories. And these are by far one of my favorite things that my mom gave me. I'm um, talking about different Bible stories, diligence in the Bible, learning patience, um, waiting with a happy spirit, things like that. Great, great books. Now they do not make these books anymore, or at least I don't think they publish them. But I would definitely go on eBay if you can or some other used book site, see if you can pick them up because they really are amazing. This is one of the books that I really vividly remember as a child. And so I am so happy to have these on my shelf. Really, really excited about those. Then we picked up the Storms book and she gave us Squire and the Scroll. Another thing that my kiddos are so excited about, this insects, it's like a 114 teaching cards. And these are so neat. Oh my goodness, I love these. If we can turn them over this way, there we go. Um, but there's a picture, like the full size big picture and then all the information for them. Um, just full of all kinds of cards. Like look how many insects are in here. My kiddos are loving these and since we are doing the gather round insect unit study, this is going to go along perfect with that. So very, very excited about these. Homes for memorization and things like that. Uh, what do you say, dear? This one I actually already owned. We were just reading that earlier, so it's on there again. Andy's pocket knife, God's amazing creatures, um, a vintage version of Uncle Arthur's bedtime stories. And this is also one of their favorite finds because it's firefly season around us. So this has been <laughs> already read twice so far today. And yes, they love they love their fireflies. We have Horton hatches an egg for the Dr. Seuss book. We have Sam bangs in the moonshine, thunder and lightning, and just so many fun books. And then this is the other firefly book that I really, really enjoy. The kids love this one. And this one is so cute. It's like, what's wrong with being a skunk? So this probably might be one that they read tonight before bed. You have the big snow, baby alligator, the first adventure of spider. And another thing that I was really excited about is growing up when I was little, crinkle root books were some of my favorite nature books. <laughs> so I was able to bring all of these home and put on my shelf. This is Walking in Wild Places. Let's see here. And they are just so fun. If you're not familiar with Crinkle Root, I highly recommend them. They are so cute. <laughs> Going on all these adventures and their nature stories and just so, so much fun. Have this Crinkle Root one. See Backyard Birds, Knowing the Birds. This was really good because by Jim Arnosky and Crinkle Root. So there's a lot of good information in there. One of my favorites when I was little morning as a little child also a very very sweet one and then crinkle roots animal habitats we have butterflies crinkle roots 25 birds and we have duck duck we actually rented this from the library a while back so i was happy to have this permanently on my shelf because the kiddos really liked it the ways of nesting birds this is another kind of vintagey type book um, and this is bird watchers and bird feeders i love this book and it's so fun because it is an older book, but there is so much information in it. And just really, really, really fun. So, bird watchers and bird feeders. And Robert and the Rose Horse. Some more Dr. Seuss storybooks. And then Love Your Neighbors. So, a whole bunch of really fun storybooks. I cannot wait to dive into these with the kiddos. 
This is the classic starts, um, and this is one of my favorites when I was a kid, so I was really excited to have that. And then we, of course, have a classic Treasure Island and a Green Gables, and then a lot of the great illustrated classics that I was really excited to add. These are just gonna be really fun this summer, especially when we do our read alouds in the morning. <laughs> so another thing that I am so excited about diving in with the kiddos this summer are the Heroes of History. If you're not familiar with these, these are incredible, incredible. They really make history come alive for the kids. So I picked up all of these. I keep saying picked up. I was given all of these. <laughs> and this was such a huge, huge blessing because I've always actually wanted to start collecting these. I just have not got around to it. So this is a huge blessing. I'm excited to, again, dive into those. Another great series, especially for reading aloud, are Hero Tales. I remember this series so well. Like these are some of my favorites growing up. They're really short and simple. Um, but they are just incredible. I love hero tales. Highly recommend those. And then some vintage books. A bear called Paddington. A couple books about the Titanic. A fox and his friends. And a trip around the world. Captain Courage. Some more of my bookhouse books. And then some other classics. And things like that. And then we jump up to the top, top shelf here. My kiddos are still a little bit too young for these. So I really just put like a lot of our read alouds in the top, top shelf. So we have all the junior classics, we have a lot of the My Book House, a lot of the Through Golden Window series books, and then another set of little classics, and then down there are like the Bobsy Twins. So that is all the top shelf stuff that will be for actual read alouds, and then down here of course are all the history stuff, and a couple other classics and things like that. So I am so, so excited <laughs> and so thankful that I was able to fill the shop up and all from a gift from my mom. So it was a huge blessing. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I am, like I said, so thankful to have a full shelf now of just really fun things to read through this summer. I was talking to my mom earlier when we were going through the books and I was saying how I was trying to figure out what read alouds to do over the summer and everything like that. And it was such, such a blessing to be able to have a lot of options now <laughs> because with the new baby due here anytime, it's probably going to be much harder to get to the library. And the books on our bottom two shelves here <laughs> are very, very well loved and very well read. And so it's so much fun to actually fill up the shelf with a lot of new content and new reads. And yeah, I'm so excited to be able to dive into those for the summer. But like I said, I am also mostly excited because I'd like to add on to the collections already on the shelf and complete the collections in hopes that someday I can own like the full collection of multiple different books and everything to then pass down to my own kiddos, kind of like my mom is doing with us. So it's very, very much a blessing. And I'd love to be able to do that to my kiddos as well. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy watching today's video. If you have not already, I'd love to have you join our family and you can do so by subscribing down below. But until then, I am going to go ahead and say goodbye, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.